Let's talk about bullying. My name is Olgun. I'm the senior instructor of Shuhari Self-Defense. I teach close quarters combat, self-protection, and anti-bullying. In this video, I'll help you by covering what is bullying, the effects of it, and most importantly, how to stop it. There is a lot of oppression, injustice, and bullying in the world. Kids are getting bullied at school. Adults are getting bullied uh, at work by colleagues or their boss. People are getting bullied in their relationships by their partners. Now, here is our starting point. No one has the right to steal your peace of mind and happiness. Life is just too short for that. So if you are a kid, you should be able to go to school without fear of harm or humiliation. If you are an adult, you should be able to go to work without intimidation. If you are in a relationship, you should feel safe. Do not leave your physical and mental well-being in the hands of a person who wants to hurt you. Now, yes, I want to live in a world where you know, no one bullies or harms another, but at the same time, there's no excuse to be naive. So I'm fully aware of the reality of the world that I do live in. And until the world that I want to live in and the real world aligns, it's a good idea to study the subject and gain some skill. Now, where you get advice from on the subject of bullying is really important. When we're suffering, we naturally turn to people around us in close proximity, uh, like our friends, family, and we ask them for advice. Now, the person advising you might have the best intentions, but could be simply unqualified to guide you. And, and people love giving advice. I mean, very rarely you'll hear someone say, I don't know enough on this subject to give you advice. So when you go up to a friend and say, I'm getting bullied, you know, what should I do? They never say, um, you know, what do I know? I'm getting bullied too, and I'm handling it really badly, so I can't help you. Over the years, I've heard some very questionable advice given on this subject. For example, just ignore the bully and they will go away. This doesn't work all the time. Ignoring a problem is not a good idea. Another one is um, don't confront the bully. You know, like if you fight back, it'll make it worse. Again, this is incomplete advice. So first, you need to find the right person to ask for advice. Also, stop looking for quick fix answers. Now, fortunately, we live in a world where people advertise, you know, six pack uh, in a month, learn a language in a, in a week, like do the splits in a day. You've got to be careful about your expectations. If you want to conquer a problem, so it's no longer an issue in your life, you need to invest time and effort into understanding it properly and develop the skills necessary to deal with it. So, what is bullying? Um, bullying is aggressive behavior which intends to harm physically or psychologically that is done repeatedly against a person who cannot easily defend themselves where the aggressor enjoys it and the victim feels helpless. So basically, it's, it's abuse of power, right? It's, it's, it's dominance behavior where someone is exercising power and control over you. Now, not all aggression is bullying. For it to be bullying, there needs to be an imbalance of power. So if two people of same age, weight, strength, and skill fight, that's just a fight. Right? So conflict between equals is not bullying. Why is it dangerous? You know, it's, um, the damage bullying does to a person goes way beyond the physical damage of a punch or the feeling of being humiliated after an insult. Right? It has the potential to change you as a person in a bad way. It brings feelings of despair, hopelessness. Uh, you might suffer from anxiety or depression. You might feel lonely and uh, have low, low self-esteem as a result of it. Right? So if you, uh, your work or academic performance might suffer because you no longer feel comfortable being there, or even worse, you might drop out of school or quit your job. The effects of bullying can stay with you a long time. Your black eye from a punch will probably heal in a couple of weeks, but the psychological scars uh, might last years, even decades. In some severe cases, uh, bullying makes the person who's suffering from it suicidal. There are different types of bullying. There's physical bullying, verbal bullying, social bullying, cyberbullying. In this video, we will focus on the physical. So how do you stop being bullied? If no one has the right to hurt you physically, why do they? Because they're not afraid of the consequences of bullying you. What is the difference between bungee jumping and just jumping without the cord? Consequence. 
And if bullying you is like bungee jumping, you get bullied. If it's like jumping without the rope, you don't get bullied. Ask yourself, why would the bullying stop? That's an interesting question. What do I need to do? Now you need to understand that evasion is a short-term answer. Right? If you change schools because of a bully, guess what? There'll be a different bully in the new school. Right? If you leave school and start working, there'll be a bully at your job. When it comes to physical bullying, you are the long-term solution. And you see, when, when we face injustice, we naturally ask questions like, why is this person treating me like this? What did I do to deserve this? Is there a misunderstanding? Can I reason with them? You need to understand at that moment of physical violence, when someone is attacking you, it has nothing to do with you know, whether you deserve it or not, whether you are uh, right or wrong. Those questions are for after the event. At that moment, the only thing that matters is, are you ready for it or not? Can you defend yourself or not? You could be 100% right and still get hurt. So the goal is to be prepared, skilled, and right. And how you deal with bullying is the same as how you deal with any problem. Right? You increase your knowledge and skill on the subject. If your problem is being bullied physically, then you study physical confrontation. You learn to protect yourself against physical violence. Learn everything you can about Technique, speed, distancing, fence, ranges, timing, footwork, evasion, impact, strength, accuracy, coordination, balance, how adrenaline and fear affect us, toughness, verbal to physical escalation, uh, multiple opponents, how to deal with a heavier or stronger attacker, defending against weapons, uh, improvised weapons, the law on the subject, I mean everything. Right? Immerse yourself in the practical study of it. If someone has put you in a headlock, learn how to get out of a headlock. If someone has punched you, learn how not to get punched. Study and practice uh, striking, uh, vertical grappling, throws, slams, defending yourself on the ground, all of it. Become a serious student of self-defense. I mentioned imbalance of power earlier in the definition of bullying. Closing that gap is a great place to start. Bullies are predators looking for easy prey. It's always a good idea to move up in the chain. You see, someone could be half the person you are in creativity, or talent, compassion, intelligence, but twice the person you are combatively. Learn to look at the subject detached from the rest. And the bully doesn't own the concept of physical toughness. Right? Don't associate physical combat with being a bully. You could be an artist and know a lot about self-protection. You could enjoy science, philosophy, debate, poetry, classical music, oil paintings, and still be formidable physically when you need to be. Being tough doesn't come at the cost of anything else. You could be an educated, articulate, decent, and caring person who is also unstoppable when it comes to defending yourself and others. And let's talk about the traditional narrative. Think about all the movies, books, or stories. How come the good guy in the story is always an underdog and the bad guy is always strong, rich, intimidating, has a bigger support group, is much more confident. Why are the options weak and good versus powerful and evil? Why is the story always the good guy fighting against all odds? The answer is simple because this format makes a better story. I want you to ignore the traditional narrative when it comes to the subject of bullying. You can be the good guy and be stronger than the bad guy at the same time. If you're a 1 out of 10 in your physical ability right now, and your bully is a 3, to you, they will look like an impossible opponent. However, once you are also a 3, suddenly uh, you understand that the person in front of you is not what you made them to be in your mind. Now you have a chance. And once you're a 5 or more, it is no longer fun for that person to pick on you physically. You'll be surprised how quickly the harassment will stop. Bullies might be awful people, but they're not stupid. You know? Once you no longer lack the knowledge and the strength to stand up for yourself, things will get easier. If you get to a seven or eight, then you can not only look after yourself, but also choose to help other people who are getting bullied. Instead of needing safe spaces, right, you can get to a level where your understanding, skill, and confidence on the subject is so solid 
that wherever you are and whoever you are talking to, you can feel safe. And remember, even if someone dislikes you, they can still respect you and your ability and the consequences of picking on you and decide that it's better to dislike you from a distance. Right? There's nothing wrong with being taken seriously and being respected. Now, the world does not lack the instructors on the subject of self-defense. It lacks students. Whatever you are, there's a person that you can go to who has dedicated his life to teaching these skills. Now find that person and dedicate your time to learning from them. They will change your life. Also, getting good at a physical activity will increase your self-esteem and confidence a lot. It will improve your posture, right? your body language, all the signals you give out to the world, which will help you with not being picked on uh, in the first place. And don't forget, bullies are like hyenas. They attack the ones with no support system, uh, the ones who won't fight back. So don't be alone. Make friends and allies. Create a solid support group. Uh, find good friends that you can depend on and look after each other. Safety in numbers is important. Also, don't suffer in silence. Uh, there's no shame in asking for help. Uh, tell your family, tell your friends uh, or your colleagues, tell the teacher. Keep a record of what happened and when it happened. Now, one thing that I want to cover here is confusion over school rules. One of the most uh, frustrating things for a child or the parent is to hear the school say, you know, if someone punches you, you, know, you can't punch them back. It's against the school rules. Now, you need to understand why people say what they say. The goal of the school is to maintain peace right, as much as possible. And to be fair, uh, it's a very difficult task to manage hundreds of kids in a building every day. So for a school, one black eye is better than two. One less incident report, one less person needs medical attention, uh, one less angry parent complaining. So if you write an email to your head teacher, you know, asking when someone is bullying me physically, if they punch me, can I punch them back? She will never reply to you saying, oh yeah, of course, you know, you can fight to de defend yourself and just, uh, it's your legal right, go ahead. So stop asking people permission to defend yourself. Also, now this is very important, never ever try to be friends with your bully in the hope that the bullying will stop. This will not work. Because of the lack of respect they have for you. First, you need to change that. Now, yes, 20 years from now, you could be having a conversation uh, with an old school friend you might find out that the kid who used to bully you in school ended up in jail or never became anything in life. Now, as likely and comforting as this sounds, it is still not a good strategy to delegate your current problems to the flow of time 20 or 30 years ahead. Remember that there's a lot that you can do right now to help yourself. So, to sum it up, increase your skill and your knowledge of self-defense. Have the correct mindset. Increase your deserved self-esteem and confidence. Don't be alone. Build a support group. Don't suffer in silence. Right? And don't leave it to time. Right? Don't let it build up. Do something about it now. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, please share it with others so it can reach the people who need it. In the next video, I'll cover verbal bullying and how to deal with it. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments or share with us your experience on the subject. If you want to do our online one-on-one -on -one anti bullying classes, please get in touch. Our contact details are uh, in the video description. Also, consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon so you can keep an eye on the new videos. Thank you.